Well, hello there, and good day. Thank you for joining me. I am Frost PDP, and this is me and Epathy hanging out. Ten okay, admittedly, this isn't very special, but But, this is the first look I'm getting at Terminus, so I'm going to give my thoughts as to what the map is. Even though I kind of was planning to get a regular old game in. So, I see some stuff out of that at Arcs Pack. You know, those channels. Ooh, this is interesting. So there's a big crater in the middle. This is definitely a speed map. This is not close quarters disking. This is you need to be going fast to attack shit. Owie. So the side to side cap route is protected by. Oops. Heh, <laughs> he's got my flag, huh? Should I fight him? Who knows? That's good to know. Thank you. Blast yourself off of one of those little hills, you can get a little movement going. Oh, I'm dead. Mistake. <sighs> well, that was fun. So, what are we doing? What are we wasting our time doing? We're looking at a map. And aside from just a little scrum with a friend or two. Oh, water. Hey, look. That would be an interesting idea for a map. Water. Let's check out the base. So you have some turrets in the front. And you have the bridge. Reminds me of something out of Halo. But then again, Halo reminds me of something out of Tribe. So I guess that all makes sense. Our base has a back gill. I call it gill. It's really like gills. That gets you to the generator room. Lots of like piping and shit, which would be really cool if it was like interactive somehow, but maybe Tribes 3 or whatever could have some of that. Um, got a little gateway here with uh, side entrance. Not symmetrical. Something I'm noting here, it's not a symmetrical base. It's not like you just like, oh, all four doors are in there. Like, no. There are certain doors in certain places that you can get into. And that's just how it works. I sound a little tired. It's because I frankly am. So it has front to back and back to front capabilities. That sucked horribly. And there's next to no chance of actually catching him. I wonder if water slows you down. Sniper rifle while in midair, that's no fun. <laughs> oh man. Uh, 
so my first thoughts on this new map is that I'm getting my ass spanked, but I kind of like the feel of it. So let's explore something else in between, like ridiculous deaths that I'm going to be a laughing stock for. We have that crater I looked at earlier, right? Oh, he bounced. All right, so I guess it's just uh, me now. Fine. I actually don't mind doing a little exploration. So there's this big building in the middle, which would be great for like a capture and hold type of game, or like the besiege map mode or whatever that they've come up with, where you could do something with this, like make a big turret or base or something, and it could be contested. Uh, so that's potential for some ideas. Uh, you know, whether or not they'll happen, or if they could be done with mods like Renegades or some shit is another story. Your cap routes on this one are actually open-ended. I mean, that's just nothing. And you have all these hills, well, up until you reach this, to build up speed. That's right, I'm not going to generate health. Let's just come at it from a different angle. Thirty seconds for the flag to return. God damn it. So I'm full health, I wanna get somewhere. I wanna get up this thing, how do I do it? Well Start a little momentum, come in low so that nothing can uh, air to air me. And just dip right over, boom, shot, a little slow on that one, but yeah, and then go. You're low, radar can't see you. That's not so much of a concern in this send. And you're through. Let's look at a uh, back to front real quick. And these are not, I'm not a pro route runner by any stretch of the imagination. I'm just giving off some thoughts based on like what I know to be basic tribes m route running and basic just like hey how can you not be completely a shitbird so by now I've got a little speed up set myself on the right path don't get shot down in midair get a clearing shot in and overshoot Shazbot indeed but that was almost a beautiful route because if I splat up against a rock it's going to be nothing of a route Coming in. Almost caught it. It's almost like these where I know I deserve to die. But thankfully, level 1 turrets just don't seem to have that oomph. So, alright, I'm gonna do the classic bullshit back to front. Like, oh look, I'm back here. Da -da 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 -da. How does this fly? Well, for one, that turret there is extremely effective if it's online. For two, you kind of got to plant your warning shots, clear the flag stand, not going fast at all. Then you can ride the hill, and this offers you protection from anyone trying to go underneath you. It does, however, provide people above you with a nice little way to ground pound you. The hills are conducive to getting some volleys in. So you have your choice. If there are people underneath you, if you feel like they have low jet energy, you can ride the top rails and relatively easily we have captured flag. pull that off. So you have sort of a choice. If you're like a high energy, you can get a lot of jetpack going stuff, or you want to charge up your impulse like I might, you know, like boom, then obviously you might want to go with the hills. On the other hand, if you're heavier and you expect your lighter people to have a, tr a little trouble staying uh, topside, I'm going to fuck with this turret real quick. This is a move I do sometimes. You blast right past their base, you find a hill, oops, that one's a little not what I was looking for, but okay. 
nitron that shit. Let's do a higher angle descent in. Got a clear shot the flag stand. I'm gonna bounce, but I'm still gonna get through with relatively good speed. And now I am on the run. All right, so again, I'm not like some pro route runner, but I can see as just a pug guy or like a little pubber noob, like, all right, there are ways to attack the flag stand. There are definitely ways. I'm gonna do something. I don't have a heavy. Uh, well, I need to actually set you up. Tubbo lard. And I need. No, I don't need a medium. No. Heavy. Modify. Tub O lard. Okay. Fusion mortar? No. We're gonna shotgun some someone pops up over the shoulder, you shoot him. Mortars might be nice. Titan launcher. Plasma cannon I still like. Onto the idea of an old school doom bringer. Uh, spin fuser and side. Why do I fuck when I want a sidearm? Locked. Why is it locked? Am I just not allowed to have a sidearm, or do I already have a sidearm assigned? Aha! I don't want one. So I have equipped plasma cannon, spin fuser, chain gun, I definitely want that because I really liked it the other day. So I'm leaving off rockets. No, I'm not. I have a rocket. I'm leaving off sidearms, mortars, and miscellaneous. I could. You know what? I would go with the Merv launcher, and the reason for that is AoE get that last shot. If the guy gets past you, you can throw it down. Now, obviously I want mines. So, mines. Pack. I definitely want a force field. Go back. Armor upgrade. I mean, again, I was looking at this the other night, and the armor upgrades really don't offer me anything in particular. So, unless that's just not finished right now. That could be something I hadn't noticed. Uh, what do I want? I want... Instant energy, less mass, and I'm to the next self-damage I take so I can chase it if I need to. I've never really gone through these and been like, Oh, what's going on with this? Like, no. The looter, safety third, plus one belt ammo. Nice, but not really it. Wheel deal, fall damage, range in which you can pick up flags. That's actually helpful. I know that doesn't... Oh, you dick. I was in the middle of something. Well, if I lost connection to the server, there's not really much more I can say other than that it was an interesting little preview of... Well, I can't remember the map's name. That's how much of a preview I got to get of it. But... Uh, I was going to look at the defensive and even some of the, I mean, I already looked at some of the mid-fighting options, but I was going to look at the defensive angles to it, but maybe I'll do that in a separate video. Until then, thank you for joining me, and as always, La Paz.